Let me get a lipstick on my teeth. Do you have a mirror? No. Do you have a mirror? You do. No lipstick on my teeth. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sarah. For those guys who are new, welcome. Doing a Project Pan update today, uh, which I'm super excited about. Really quickly before we get started, um, I just wanted to mention that the reason that the timing... Okay, I see it. I see it. My freaking, like, stop moving. Okay. So first things first, you guys, I want to apologize. Do you see how this is shaking? My tripod is just shitty. <laughs> so I really need a new one, but I just wanted to let you guys know that's why that's happening. I, oh, I'm trying to make it stop. What I was actually going to say, um, besides the tripod stuff, is that this video might seem like it's going up too early. But I filmed my Project Pan intro video at the beginning of June, and it's now, you know, like, what, a week into July. So actually, technically, this update is like a week late, to be honest. So I'm just going to be updating you guys on the products, and I just wanted to let you guys know if it seems like I uploaded... If you're like, wait, I swear you just uploaded your intro. It's because I did, but I filmed it, like, on July 2nd, so it just took a really long time to edit it on accident sorry so i'm just gonna go through the products and kind of give you guys like an update on um how i've been doing with them how it, you know how how it's going and also i will be showing you guys obviously like some before and after pictures because those are fun to look at so i'm gonna start off with the palette that i am trying to pan some shades in this is the sonia kashik palette eye on neutral palette um, so, heh, it's a little dirty. <laughs> so I will leave, um, my intro video down below if you want to see kind of why I picked the products, because I don't want to, like, repeat myself, um, a ton, because if you've already seen it, then you'd be bored, and yeah. Just to recap, though, I did want to hit pan on this guy right here, um, and then these two shades right here, and then maybe this one, I feel like I could do the middle one too. And then I think the other two that I wanted to hit pan on are these two right here. I've been using this palette pretty much every single time I've done my makeup this month. Like this one, I, I've been using this to set down my base before going in with other eyeshadow. This one is a great transition shade. I actually have this in my crease and on my lid, and then I deepened it up with uh, this shade and this shade right here for a little bit more of a, you know, dramatic look. It's not that dramatic, whatever. I so far have actually really been liking this palette. I would not necessarily recommend going out and buying it unless they reformulated it. Um, it's a little inconsistent, like some of the shades are, seem to be pressed much harder than other shades, so it kind of creates like a weird inconsistency. I will show you guys, you know, a close up. Um, I definitely have in this shade right here a really nice dip going, and that's because I have to really get my brush in there to get some color payoff, so um, that's why that one seems to be the one with the most progress. And then these shades right here on this side, I have been doing pretty well with think I'm probably going to hit pan on these two first. These will be either this one or this one will be the first one I hit pan on. I'm really hoping next month to come back and like show you guys some pan. It's been slow going, but I have used this a lot. I've been getting a lot of good use out of it, which is kind of like the whole point of this. I just wanted to get more use out of my project or out of my products. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Is it? Yes. Wow. What is happening? Okay, so yeah, that's the palette. I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm like, I don't really know how I'm doing on them, to be completely honest, because I can't really see. So the first one is this clear brow gel, a uh, little sample from ABH. I don't know, like it's still going strong. It's weird. I use it almost every day and I'm still getting product out of it and it's not, let me... It's kind of starting to smell a little bit, but it's not dry yet, and I don't know. I feel like I'm still getting a good amount of products out on the brush, so I'm hoping that, I don't know, I hope I can get another, like, month's worth of use out of this, um, but I think, I don't know, it's so small, I've had it open for such a long time, 
and it's starting to smell so I feel like I should probably uh, throw it away at some point. Um, it's not making it out of this project, that is for sure. So there's that guy. Next product that I don't know if I'm really making much progress on is the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. This mascara is bomb. I love it. I am actually thinking about repurchasing it, to be honest, even though it's pretty pricey for, like, mascara. Like, I don't know. I want to try to find a good drugstore dupe for this that's cruelty-free, but I haven't really heard much, so um, I'll have to... I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But yeah, so far this seems to be going strong. Um, it is a little bit dry, more dry than I think that it, it was originally. So I think it is kind of getting to, I mean, I think I said this in the intro, it's already kind of almost done. It's, it is starting to smell a little bit. So I'm thinking for both these little like the brow gel and this mascara, I'm thinking I'll probably stick it out for one more month and then I'm going to throw them away just because you know, it's like, I know that this has been open for quite a while anyway, and you're not supposed to use them after like three months, right? So, I don't know, I just feel like I should probably toss it after that and move on to something else. Um, so yeah, there is that. So next, I have my MAC paint pots. You guys, I, I really wanted to like show you some pan on this, but... There isn't any, unfortunately, but I can just tell that I'm so freaking close. I can just tell you guys. So I'm sure by the next update, I will have a hit pan on this or like hit the hit glass, I guess, since it's in a little jar instead of a pan. But you guys know what I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, I really, oh, I just want to use this up so bad. I want it out of my collection. I know I said that I wanted to buy Soft Ochre after I finished this, but MAC is not cruelty free. So I'm just going to get it out of my collection and try and find something that is a good dupe for this that is cruelty free. Just some sort of eye base that I can use. If you guys know of any that are dupes for this and cruelty free, I would really love to know. Um, people always say that the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion is a dupe for this, and I don't think it is. I, I personally, I use both, and I don't think that they're dupes for each other. That's just my personal opinion. I, I want to find something that's kind of in a similar packaging to this, like in a pot form that I can just kind of like go in and, you know, it's a little bit thicker, but it's not like too much. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, guys. Um, obviously, I'll let you know if I find something, but if you guys know of any good dupes, let me know. So next, I have my butter bronzer, and I'll show you guys close-ups, obviously, but this guy, I feel like I haven't made much progress on this, to be honest. Even though I have used it every single time I've done my makeup, I always reach for this bronzer. I just, I feel like I have not made much progress on this. Uh, I did have someone comment on my intro video that it took them about four months to pan this and that's about how long my project is gonna, well yeah, that is how long my project is gonna be. So I'm hoping by the very end I will be able to hit pan on this and uh, then from there I can try to, you know, use it up. So uh, yeah, that is that guy. I really enjoy this product. I love it. still my favorite bronzer so I have not had any trouble you know, making sure that I'm using it. It's just, there's a lot of product in here, I feel. So, I don't know. But hopefully, the next update or two uh, will show a little bit more visual progress for you guys. But, yeah. So, I have my ABH eyebrow, uh, or, sorry, my, <laughs> my ABH brow whiz. And this guy is doing pretty well i would say i've made a ton of progress on it it's kind of cool to see like how much of this i use in a month and kind of how fast you go through a brow whiz um or a, a brow pencil but i did um mark on the cap where i started and I'm not quite halfway through what i had originally so just a little bit over half left from what I started with. Alright, so next I have my Rimmel Nude uh, Scandalized Eyeliner. I haven't made too much progress on this. Um, it's been really slow going. I, I feel like I just, I never need to sharpen it. It just like, like I've sharpened my other pencil like multiple times this month. This one I think I've only sharpened like twice. I just feel like, I don't know. But on the bright side, I used this yesterday in my waterline and I really I was just like okay we're not we're not playing around here like we're gonna get a nude liner and like 
really go and it's like it's it's you're gonna see the nude liner on my eyes and so I put it on my waterline and I just kept like like building it up basically and it actually looked good the problem is this piece of crap just you have to like sit there forever and just back and forth until the product builds up which is not ideal because you know you don't want to like sit there like tugging at your waterline for like minutes you know you don't want to be doing that so um i think i've found a way like by doing that i found that i do like a nude in my waterline and i don't like this product but i think i can get it to work work well enough that I can use it up so there is that um but yeah I'm just I uh, I'm so excited to get this out of my collection so excited like and it's it's just a liner but I'm like I want it out and I want to use it up like I don't just want to throw it away I want it used up all right and then the black liner that I've got um is from Ducey Cosmetics Deuce Cos I don't know how to say it <sighs> whatever oh okay interesting I feel like I've made about the same amount of progress. Again, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see where I marked on this piece of paper. Um, so I will show you guys close-ups and like side-by-side -side pictures of these products. But um, I feel like I've actually used about the same amount of both liners. I, For some reason, I thought I was using way more of this. But maybe, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Okay, next I have my Laura Mercier. This is their Matte Radiance Baked Powder and Highlight 01. This is uh, a little deluxe size, and um, you'll see in the close-up that it is kind of starting to round out the because it's baked, so it's kind of domed, um, and the dome is kind of starting to level out, which I'm really excited about because it just means that, you know, progress is happening. Um, so there's no, well, there's a little bit of a dip going on too, so that's nice, and I'm excited. Um, I really like this highlighter. It's the one I'm wearing today, and I feel like it's stunning like it's gorgeous i love it i have no problem continuing to use this i think it's definitely going to be something that i can definitely hit pan on by the end of this project um i really like this and like i i just had no idea how much i like it like it's crazy so um yeah the next product i have is the tarte rainforest of the sea concealer um and i don't again i don't I'll show you guys a close up, but um, that is where I'm at right now, and it really hasn't gone down that much. I've been using it so much though, so <sighs> we shall see if I can do this. If that's a month's progress, like we're not gonna make it on this guy, but I am hoping uh, to try to get this used up. We'll see. The next one I have is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. In my intro video, I could not see through the product to mark where I started. I kind of guesstimated that I was about halfway, um, and now I'm about right here. I can finally see where it's settling down at. Um, I don't know why I couldn't before, because now it's like very clear that that's where it is. You can like see through the bottle there. I think it must just be that there's so much like dried product up here or something that it I just can't see um, through it up there, but yeah, so I think I can finish this in the next three, yeah, three months. I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like I use quite a lot of this foundation when I do use it, and it's been the only foundation, well, that's a lie. I have used my Hourglass foundation once or twice. Um, but this is my foundation that I've been wearing. If I wear makeup to work, I've been wearing this. If I wear it, like, if I'm just doing my makeup like for fun I've been putting this on just because I really would like to use it up. So those were all of the products that are in my project pan. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'm really excited to come back next month and show you guys like a ton more progress hopefully. I haven't been wearing makeup like as much as I could <laughs> so there was definitely I think there was like a week or two maybe that I wasn't very good about wearing it to work. So I'm hoping that this next month I will be a lot better about it and just, you know, getting up and doing my makeup and just like chilling before going to work. And I, I just really enjoy that. And this project definitely has been helping me do that because it's kind of giving me like a goal and like a reason to get up and do my makeup, like other than enjoying it. It's also like there's like a productivity to it, I guess. 
um, in my head. And so I've really been liking having this project. I just think it's really uh, helping to motivate me. It's giving me something to like focus on. I don't know. It's nice. I wish I had more progress to show you for this project, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more updates from me on my project pan journey. Also, let me know what kinds of projects you guys would like to see on my channel down below. Um, I'm pretty new to panning and stuff, so I don't want to take on like another project like right now, but um, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on things that I can do after this project, or maybe like, I don't know, if you do know of any like mini projects that might be kind of fun to do, let me know. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in my next one. Why? Why do I do this? Like, can I just end the video like a chill person? Just like, Alright, so anyways, that is it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.